Hi everybody, my name is Linda Henderson and I will be your instructor next year for our NCSSM Online AP Calculus AB BC class. Uh, welcome, nice to meet you. I'm sorry I can't be there today as we speak. I am at home writing my last term paper for the semester for my grad course at NC State. Um, I just wanted to say hello though and give you a brief overview of our course and what you could expect for next year. Uh, the fall semester is entitled the Calculus AB course and the spring is the BC course. They are separate material according to the College Board. Should you have any questions when we're finished, Mrs. DeConte is there, I know, and she is most well versed in all of this. Uh, she's actually the writer of our original course, uh, so she can address any questions or other concerns you might have. Um, at the end, I will also provide you with my phone number and email address, so if you have any questions, you're most welcome to contact me. So to give you an overview, um, our syllabus is, of course, directed as from the College Board, uh, who runs the entire AP program, as I'm sure you're familiar with, with other classes. Um, the AP Calculus, AB, and especially BC covers what would be considered two full semesters of college-level calculus. Um, coming in, you definitely need a strong background in math, uh, very much so in Algebra 2, Trigonometry, and Pre-Calculus. Um, should you find you might need to brush up a little bit, I'd be happy to provide you with some resources for over the summer. But you can put it on your calendars, otherwise AP exam date for 2013 is Wednesday, May 8th. It's always bright and early at 8 a.m., so be prepared. Get a good night's sleep. In terms of the content that we cover, there's nine units. Um, we include a very brief review of pre-calculus, and when we say brief, we mean really brief, like a week, maybe two tops. Uh, we then go into limits, followed by derivatives along with their applications, integrals and their applications, polar and parametric problems. You know, perhaps you're a little bit familiar with polar and parametric equations. Um, moving into then sequences and series, and finally we end the year with vector valued functions. You'll find nine units. It goes quick. Doesn't sound like a whole lot, but they're long. Uh, in terms of the course delivery, everything is, of course, within our learning management system. Uh, for every lesson, you'll find videos uh, that covers the content itself, um, modeling of problems, um, references to other sources that you might find helpful. We, of course, have a textbook that we use and is provided for you. Uh, we try to provide you with a Barron's book, if at all possible. Sometimes it does come down to how many students we have, but we have tried to do that the last couple years. Um, you'll find interactive questions embedded within the lessons. Um, so for example, a problem you'll work on, um, and then you'll be told to move on from there and see if you got it right. Uh, we do have a weekly tutorial session at night, um, once a week, um, and that's really, I use it as tutorial time. I don't really use it as time to teach new material. I think it should be what it, the name says, tutorial. So it's really bring whatever questions you have, whatever it is you want to go over, um, after your unit tests, we'll use the tutorial time together to go over the unit tests um, and really just answer any kind of questions you might have. Uh, of course, at the end of the year, we give a few, few weeks to AP exam prep, um, targeting the exam date itself. As far as what you can expect in terms of the assignments and whatnot, um, there will be homework to be completed for each lesson, just like I'm sure you're familiar with your, with your other math classes. Um, there's actually a homework check sheet that has the um, assigned let problems from the textbook on them, um, and you're on your honor system to do them, um, and then document on that check sheet that you did complete them and by what date you completed them. You can expect about two to four online quizzes. We do online quizzes through WebAssign, um, and you'll have about two to four of those every unit. Um, the students have found them really helpful, and I go over them also after you're finished um, to make sure they were graded right by the automatic grader online, um, but also to see if there's any kind of trends in terms of what people might be missing. Uh, you can expect AP PALS Problem of the Weeks. Um, each unit has about maybe two, three, sometimes, depends on the unit. Um, at the end of each unit, there is a unit test, um, and that is administered at your school by the designated proctor. Um, each one is an hour and a half in length. Um, some use calculators, some you are not permitted to use your calculator on. Others are half and half, um, but they are proctored by your designated person at your school. Um, the first quarter and the third quarter each contain a project um, covering different topics that we'll be touching upon at that time of the year. 
finally, there's the gate quizzes. Um, we've made these very much a part of both our online and our IVC delivery classes. On um, the gate quiz, we, there's two of them due the, during the year, one in the fall on derivatives, one in the spring on integrals. Um, and they're quizzes on which you have to get a 90% or else it's a zero. Now, we haven't had anybody get a zero, so I don't expect us to start now. Um, you're allowed six attempts to get the 90 that you need. Um, so there are multiple attempts and you pr basically just get a new version of the quiz each time. Um, some pass it right out of the gate, very first one. Others need a few more times, which is fine. Uh, but what they really are is touching upon those absolutely essential skills that you do need to have to be successful in the class. As far as the time commitment, I'm not going to lie. As I like to say, it's an AP course. It's a college level course and it's treated as such, as I like to say. Um, you need to be prepared to spend time. Um, the units, one unit can take anywhere from one week up to five weeks to complete. Um, there's a big variation, but in terms of weekly commitment on your part, I think you're looking somewhere in that eight to 15 hour range. Um, depending upon how strong of a math student you are, how easily this comes to you, um, you might fall on that eight hour a week range. Um, others have to really give it more time and maybe fall more on the 12 to 15 end of the range. So there is a wide variation in how much time might be required on your part. Um, so you do have to come in knowing that, and I think it's important that you do know that. And I think if you were to ask anybody who's taken the course before, um, they'll probably say that's the biggest challenge is the time commitment. Um, there are very, very firm due dates. Um, essentially, when we come back to school in August, I will have the entire year mapped out. Um, we have that AP exam date in May that we have to shoot for, which means we have to be through our course content by the middle of April. Um, so whereas a traditional spring semester course has January through, you know, almost the beginning of June to cover the material, we have to be done mid-April. So that's almost a month, month and a half of time we lose. Um, so there are very, very firm deadlines. I will be requesting that if you know you're going to be like out of school on, for instance, a class trip or something, I get a month's notice that you're not going to be able to meet a deadline. Uh, reason is you're busy, I'm busy. Um, I often have these times set so that I know I can get things back to you in a timely matter. Um, and I want to be able to do that. So anything, anytime students have things in late, I can't get them back to you as soon as I like. Um, so that's why I will be requesting a month's notice if there is like a field trip you have coming up or, you know, um, some competition you're involved in and you'll be away for, um, I will be requesting a month's notice about that. Um, we also, of course, have our NCSSM online calendar that I'm sure you've discussed there today. Um, you might find that our designated spring break, for instance, does not match with yours at your school, um, but we go with ours, you know, so that's what we stick to. Um, so you might have to make, maybe make arrangements in terms of getting quizzes done or tests done. Um, you know, if you're, for instance, going to be away during your spring break, but we're still in classes, you know, you're still expected to get the work done somehow. Um, so that is something you do want to think about and just plan ahead. You know, I think as long as you put in the time to plan things and, you know, keep me posted and keep me informed of what's going on, then we'll be fine. Um, you know, none of us like a bomb dropped off on us at the last minute. And that's really what about is just really the communication piece. All right, so just plan your time and you'll be fine. Um, in terms of technical requirements that you're going to need um, to make this all happen, um, definitely you'll need to have regular and reliable uh, internet access at home, um, typically sending out a weekly update just to remind you of things that are due, um, say hello, check in, and I can't be hearing from people that, oh, I never got that email, I don't check my email. You need to have a, a, an email address that you do check regularly. Um, also regular access to either a scanner or a fax machine. Um, that's how I'll be receiving back your quizzes and your tests that you'll be taking and your problems of the week. Um, easiest thing is if you, you have the capability to scan them in, save them as a PDF and get them to me, that typically will enable me to get things back to you faster than if I have to get them, maybe PDF them myself and then turn it around. You know, any little things like that kind of add up with time in terms of me getting things back to you. Um, so if you can PDF your documents, that would be awesome. Um, a graphing calculator with, goes without saying. At this point, we hope you're very familiar with it from your Algebra 2 and pre-calculus classes. Uh, we do use the Texas Instrument line. 
Um, the 83s, we don't see too many people having them, but we can definitely work with it if that's what you have. Um, I still have my old one. Um, so that includes the 83, the 84, it includes the plus versions of those, um, also the silver editions of the 84s or the 89s. Um, most of what we do and present is from the point of view of the 84. Um, you might want to see if you do have the new updated operating system for that, with, which has the quote-unquote pretty print, as they call it. Um, you can, that's a free download, I know, but that's one thing I make sure you have early in the school year if you don't have it, and I can provide it for you. But as promised, here is my email address and my phone number. Should you have any questions, please feel free to email me at any time, including over the summer if you think of something or call me. Um, over the summer, probably email is the best way to get me, quite frankly, because I won't be here at school every day. Um, should you have any questions right now, though, as I mentioned, Mrs. DeConti, I'm sure, is able to answer them for you. So thank you for being here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this, and I look forward to meeting you in the fall. Take care.